now the implementation part has been done okay that is the code for this has been done next things comes the permissions that is when the user is using our this flutter application in the iphone and also for the android there are different kind of permissions so if you go to the documentation for this image picker library come here to the readme so for the ios we have to add these two permissions okay that is the first permission is describe why your app need permission mission for the photo library and the second one is you can read the details of it of course and the second permission is describe why your app need access to the camera that is if someone is using the capture image feature okay and the other one is basically describe why your app needs access to the microphone okay so these are for the iOS however for the Android it is simple that is for the Android no configuration required okay so yeah let's just start from the iOS first we have to add permission so this one we have to add so in our project where we have the iOS module this one open up the iOS module and inside the iOS module we have runner and inside the runner we have info.plist here you can see inside this dictionary let me add some space so you can see it okay what we need to do is we need to have a key string for example let's copy this okay and paste that here as we have three so we will copy paste it three times like this okay now as you know that the first permission is the first permission is NS photo library usage description just copy this okay like this copy it come back here and simply pass it between this key okay and then the description for it we have to specify here that is for which purpose we are using this uh, okay so we have to describe why your app need for mission for the photo library so in the description we can simply write like let me just type we can say between these string tags okay we can say this app need permission for for choosing for choosing image from your photo library or you can say from your phone gallery okay and then the next permission is NS camera use description that is if you want to use the capture image feature okay accessing the phone camera so for that purpose we can have this NS camera usage description and then of course the detail will be this app require let me just copy this and paste it here between the tags so this app needs permission for you can say using your phone camera capture image okay of course you can use a uh, sentence according to your own needs any professional sentence you want to write okay for using phone camera and then of course the last one is the NS microphone usage description so let's copy this and let's quickly add that okay and then the description for this will be This app needs permission for using your phone microphone. Okay. So yeah, that's it. This is the iOS part. However, for the Android, no specific config configuration is required. Only thing we have to do is let's close this. This is the iOS part. For the Android, all we need to do is inside the app build.gradle we have the minimum SDK version the minimum SDK version it must be 19 or greater than 19 so we will go with 19 also we have to enable the multi text use the same spellings okay 
m is small d is capital and e is capital however the rest of the variable uh, rest of the alphabets are small now on the main dot dot 